Hi everyone, it's Miss Mandible uh, doing another Doki Doki Crate review. Uh, first off, this Doki Doki Crate feels heavier than previous ones, and I'm going to chalk that up to the fact that they're um, trying to cheer me up for my heavy heart based on yesterday's election results. Uh, that said, no matter who you voted for, let's um, stay positive. <laughs> so, here we are. We got some cute fall looking graphics on the magazine. So this one comes every single month. And we've got Tomomi with a cute hairstyle. It's different than the ones she's normally uh, seen with. And we've got a tip off to pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin themes of everything. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Um, so this theme this month was Kawaii Cafe. Here we are. Um, I do think that it was surprising that they went with the whole Kawaii Cafe theme since uh, Yume Twins, their probably main competitor, also went with a um, breakfast theme. Um, and I do know that there are a couple bleed over items, or, or one I bleed over item. It looks like Sailor Moon. Um, uh, remit item. So that's one spoiler they did let us know about before. But everything else I still have no idea what we're going to get. Um, and that's also why I have these cute little Sailor Moon things over here. Keep them with the theme. Alright, so here we go. Going with that whole kawaii cafe theme. It looks like we're going to get a really cute Hopechan here too. Uh, but I'm not going to read that because I want to be surprised. And I'm going to show you the manga. So we're going to go from top to bottom on this side. I'll go slow so you can pause and read it. All right. I'm going to give you a peek of the items inside without seeing too much of it to spoil myself. All right. And. Looks like the upcoming Stakey Crate. It's gonna have a car captor um, apron. That's really cute. And we've got Petit Lapine. He is making another appearance. I believe this will be probably in relation to the next photo contest. So actually, I do know also Petit Lapine, uh, instead of looking for a macaron, he is going with the baguette theme. Um, and then finally, yeah, so here is actually the My Kawaii Cafe. It's the hashtag you can use if you want to enter their contest this month. Um, and if you do that, you'll probably win, like, a, oh, you'll win a DS. Or you'll also, um, lucky prize winners can win a really cute kitchen timer. You can see right there. Okay. And as always, if you're following uh, Doki Doki on social media, um, anytime you... Uh, Hashtag them, you have an option of possibly being featured in this magazine. And they'll sometimes feature um, other people on their Instagram accounts and their Facebook. So, there we go. So, here we are one more time, and then let's dig in. Ooh, I feel like that works because it's the breakfast theme, or uh, cafe theme. Alright, so, I'm going to start with Petit Lapine. Um, he actually is a little bit bigger than the last time. I think last time he was about this big. So he's a little bit fluffier. He must be eating too many baguettes. Um, he's got his cute little yellow bow and you can see he's got uh, this baguette top and bottom. So he's kind of like a little bun baguette. It's pretty cute and uh, yeah there he is. And I don't know what the pink is supposed to be. Um, I knew the green one and I'm assuming that um, some of the boxes got green and that would be like lettuce. Um, in any case he's really soft and really cute. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, it looks like after some feedback uh, that Doki Doki has been getting, um, some people didn't want to have uh, t-shirts every month, and I, I was actually one of those people who, um, I like the t-shirts, I especially love the October t-shirt, um, but they wanted to move forward in a, uh, just wearables in general. So... Here we have some super cute Rilakkuma sunglasses, and this is fantastic because I just broke my um, my 
oldest pair of sunglasses and I was really sad. Um, they were actually given to me by a friend. I don't normally just buy my own sunglasses. It's not something I think about, um, but I'm excited. It is a little weird to get it in November, but I'm still super uh, excited to have some cute, cute Rila Kuma um, sunglasses. And this will definitely be useful when uh, sunny weather returns and I go back to playing more Pokemon Go. <laughs> okay. So, they gave us a little teaser um, in that magazine of this month's uh, Hopechan. So, our little Hopechan keychain this month is super cute. She's uh, on a little piece of cake, mini layers there, and topped with these beautiful um, treats as well. This is actually a pretty popular type of um, way to serve your cake in Japan. Uh, they just have the most beautiful decor on their uh, everything they have, like parfaits, pieces of cake, um, anything sweet. They love sweets in Japan. And so this is perfect. I, I think they do a great job of representing that. All right, and then, oop, here we go. We've got, it looks like a croissant pen. I'm assuming it's a pen. They um, tend to show us a uh, little, or package their pens and little items like this. But let's find out. Um, and this looks like a croissant which I love. This is actually really fun for me. I used to work in a bakery for three years, um, so this is somewhat reminiscent for me. Now, let's see. Yep, it is a pen. Geez, I really do wish I worked in that bakery still. Then I could have all these cute accessories, but I can still enjoy them even now. All right, so there we go. I think this one will be might be a little bit weird to write with, but it's, I mean, it's just a little wide, but it's super cute. And it has a little magnet on the back, so you can actually use this in your kitchen. So uh, you could put it on your fridge and then pull it off whenever you need to write something down. So that's pretty clever. All right. Ooh, and, oh, is this food or not? So we've got, uh, it looks like a chocolate bar. And it smells like chocolate. It's pretty sweet, but I don't think it's actually chocolate. Oh, okay. Nope, it's not. But it does smell um, kind of chocolatey, like a sweet, sweet chocolate. But this is a notepad. Isn't that so cute? So, you can, oops, write in your notepad with your new pen. And actually, uh, chocolate croissants were always one of my favorite items. So, super cute. Yay! Yay! And it says milk chocolate all over it. That's a pretty unique item, actually. Alright. And going with that baguette theme, we have... I'm going to pull this out of the package. A baguette pouch! So, there you go. It's really thick, so you could put something like... Actually, you could put your glasses in there. And um, I think it actually protect it because it is pretty, uh, pretty hefty as far as the um, padding goes. Uh, you know, you can see it's, uh, yeah, got a lot of padding. So that's a pretty awesome. You can use this pouch, I'm sure, for um, pencils or, like I said, sunglasses. Um, and then finally, this is the item uh, a lot of people were excited for. Um, it is the Sailor Moon Remen. It's cafe theme. So I'll show you. These are the possibilities. I actually, I got this one in my Yumi Twins crate. So hopefully I'll get something different. We'll see though. I'd really like, uh, I really think that Luna is super cute. Um, I'd even go for that moon stick one. Um, so yeah, let's see what we have. And this is the last item, um, but yeah, uh, again, I wanted to say, like, Doki Doki does a really great job of listening to their um, customer base, and this they recently uh, updated their um, newest crate, which is Kira Kira crate. All right, so it looks like I got my wish. I got the cute Luna. Let me pop this out of this baggie. So here we are. Yeah, we've got it's Luna, so she's like a cupcake. It's pretty cute. And then there's also this little charm here, which is kind of like, it looks like a melting truffle. So like probably strawberry. 
So this will be great. Um, again, this is pretty, um, it has a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like flimsy or um, like it'll get scuffed up and destroyed very easily. Um, so yeah, uh, Remint does a really good job and uh, like Doki, I said, Doki Doki is always listening to their um, customer base and trying to improve based on feedback, um, which I always try to give my feedback. And if anyone has any suggestions um, of things they think I should give as feedback to Doki Doki if they're not already uh, subscribing, uh, please leave me a note in the comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, things you think would be awesome to see. Um, obviously, I don't get to control what goes in these boxes, but my feedback and your feedback will definitely help them improve and make them continue going on forever. And uh, next month is their one year anniversary, so I'm really excited. Um, it's definitely going to have a holiday theme. And uh, yeah, so please uh, stay tuned and for that next box. And uh, again, I look forward to any feedback. Um, you know, if you're not already subscribed, I definitely recommend Doki Doki. Um, you can follow them on Instagram, uh, Facebook. They always have different uh, subscribing um, deals, so you can get like $3 off or $5 off of your box. Um, so yeah, give them a shot, and uh, thank you all for watching. See you soon.